Hi, my name is Tim Johnson and I am Managing Director of Kitchen Dog Theatre. And Kitchen Dog has been around for 29 years. Uh, we are a mission-driven theatre uh, and somewhat unique in that sense. All of our work uh, focuses on raising questions about justice, human freedom, and morality. So in addition to our regular season, which can range from four to five shows per year, um, we have a pretty vital education program. We have a partnership with junior players in Dallas Independent School District. Um, because we focus so much on new work, um, we thought that's what we could bring into the education uh, arts education realm and so we put on free playwriting workshops they're usually three-day workshops and we go into DISD high schools so we're currently in this current year going into 20 DISD high schools um, and then that culminates in a festival that's part of our new works festival which is always the last show in the season and that's an event called Pup Fest and so that's six jury selected plays um, by the teens uh, they are directed by professional directors and then each of the playwrights has a playwright mentor that works for them with them for like a week and a half to develop their plays uh, and then we present that to our audiences as part of our festival. So we have a lot of opportunities for volunteering. Um, there's a lot of arenas where we'd like to get more support. Uh, two that are really active for me right now are um, uh, in a marketing arena, we're really needing to redevelop and reimagine our whole marketing. Um, in 2018, at the end of 2018, the Dallas Morning News uh, dramatically cut all of their arts coverage, uh, including getting rid of the final arts uh, theater critic. Um, so as a result, we have seen a 33% decline in our ticket sales, and that stayed true since the loss of the, those reviews um, in our 29 year history. Uh, I don't think there's been a single show that did not get reviewed by the Dallas Morning News and the last four have received no coverage at all. Um, I've spoken with other arts leaders around town and we're not unique. Everyone I've spoken to has said they're experiencing this decline. So, uh, And I also know it's a national issue that we're all facing as, as papers cut back on their coverage of the arts. Um, so we're really needing to kind of rethink how marketing is done for theater and reimagine a plan um, that's sort of part of the post major media outlet world. Uh, also, um, we need some, I'd love to have some help around finance. So in 2019, we uh, lost our 20 year home at the McKinney Avenue Contemporary and we initiated a capital campaign. I'm happy to say that we're now one of four theaters in the city that own property. Uh, we are in the midst of a $3 million campaign and have raised approximately $2 million. Um, we're reaching a threshold where we need to make a decision about when the time is to begin renovations on the property. And so I need to take the budget I have, which uh, doesn't have a lot of detail, uh, and really flesh it out so that I have a kind of a comprehensive budget of uh, what it's going to mean to complete renovations and move in and then new occupancy costs. Um, and uh, we always have opportunities on the board. Uh, there's an application process. I'd love to chat with you more about that if you're interested and my email is at the bottom of the screen.